Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you for all the support that I get from you on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Y'all, I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. But first of all, I want to talk to you about the stimulus payment that we have gotten in the past and this one that we've just now got well most of us has got it some people are still waiting but i continue to hear people talk about they spend it on garbage stuff that they don't need stuff that is not important well that is totally wrong because most people spend it to catch up their bills and to buy groceries uh most people did not even get enough to catch up their bills so what one person does with their money is nobody else's business the purpose of this stimulus package is to boost the economy to create more tax revenue and it don't matter what you spend your money on whether you you blow it at the at the skating rink or at the movies or you buy a new stereo or you invest it or you save it it don't matter what you do with it it's still creating more tax money when you when you put your money in the bank and save it do you think the bank just holds on to that money no they lend it out to other people i hope congress and the senate is hearing this because they, they seem to not know how money works. I'm going to explain to you how money works. But the banks do not sit on this money. They lend it out to other people. Other people build homes, which creates tax money. Other people start businesses that creates tax money. Other people buys cars, creates tax money. Now I'm going to get into this deeper in just a minute. And it don't matter it don't it don't matter if you save it or spend it at the store. It's still going to create tax money. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions here. If I give you this piece of paper, how much do you think that piece of paper is worth? And then if I give you these two $100 bills, which by the way is fake money, and I'm going to give you a little secret. Most of the YouTubers that you see with all these thousands and thousands of dollars that they're flashing around on their videos is fake money there's one huge youtuber his name is uh grant cardone he tells you up front his flash money is fake but anyway what is more valuable actually they're both the same because this is a u.s treasury note it is no good. It is worthless until you spend it. And the good thing about this is when you give it to me, do I have $100? No, I've got a note that says I'm owed $100 worth of goods. When I go and spend this at the store, I'm passing this $100 to someone else. And then they can go buy goods with that $100 and down the road. It has to change hands seven times. If they just print money out, it changes hands seven times before that $100 pays for itself. So are we digging a deeper debt by printing money? No, it all creates tax revenue. That's something that Congress and Senate just does not understand. So what's more valuable? Two $100 bills are one piece of paper. They're both the same until you spend this. You can walk around with a, a stack of these in your pocket. It means absolutely nothing. It just means that you have the power to buy something. That is a note, a promissory note from the Federal Reserve. Nothing more, nothing less. And again, that's not real money. I don't have $100 bills laying around. Okay, we're going to talk about Joe Biden's tax plan a little bit. He says no one below 400000 a year will see any higher taxes. 
And that could be true. We won't see higher taxes, but we damn sure will see higher prices. We will pay this tax one way or the other. These people that make more than 400000 well, what if they only make $401? 400000 $401. Should they be taxed at the same rate that a multimillionaire is taxed? I mean, how do they cut it off there? But these people that makes 400,000 or more, these are people that normally would own their own small businesses and employ people. These people are not going to absorb this price, these new taxes. They're not going to do it. They're going to they're going to handle it several different ways. They're going to lay somebody off. They're not going to hire the new employee that they was planning on hiring, which will eliminate jobs. They're going to raise the price at the cash register. Therefore, we will pay this tax because they're not going to absorb it. Or they will up and move out of the country and take their business and jobs with them, eliminating more jobs for the American people. So Joe Biden says, if you make below 400000 you will not pay any more in taxes. He needs to think again. I mean, common sense tells you these people are not going to absorb this tax increase. But then, on the other hand, we have to look at it this way, too. I know a lot of people will bash on the rich people. I'm not rich by no means. I'm far from even being middle class, y'all. But, these rich people has worked all their life to get where they're at. And I know you've worked all your life to get where you're at, too. But these richer people, they either had a better education, better breaks. Uh, they was just better at business than we were. And they worked their asses off to get there. Why are we going to punish them for doing good? It should be a flat tax for everybody across the board. I mean, why should it be stair-stepped? The more you make, the more you pay. Well, if it's a flat tax across the board, the more you make, the more you're going to pay. But the percentage would still be the same. It just makes sense. It makes it fair. All these people that works, they, the senators, the congressmen, the president, the people in the Federal Reserve, they need to take economics 101 over like they did in high school. They need to take it again because they didn't learn much. Y'all, it's crazy. I mean... Why should we punish people that's doing really good? Now, I do agree these companies that's using these loopholes, like Amazon, they don't pay a penny in tax. It's time for them to pay up. It's time for them to pay their fair share. Pay their fair share from here on out and for five years back. And then if they decide that they don't want to pay these taxes and you see that they're going to up and leave the country, freeze their assets. Don't let them take their assets with them. Yeah, they can leave the country. They can take their business with them. But they're going to start from scratch. They're not going to take the billions that they've made off the American people's back with them. It's going to be frozen right here in the United States until they come back. That would stop all of that. Make the companies that hadn't paid anything, make them pay their fair share. And then give a flat tax for everyone across the board, no matter their income. I mean, yeah, the very low income, they should not, they should not have an income tax because they're not making enough. So leave that part the same. But then once 
the stair step starts where it's going to tax people in the on the IRS and make it the same amount just across the board make it a stair step and make everyone pay the same amount or better yet get rid of the income tax completely and have a universal sales tax all the way across the board the sales tax right now it's a I think in my state is seven and a half percent make it nine percent and then everyone would pay taxes on everything every penny that they spend they would they would pay taxes on it that would even make it more fair than the income tax because then everyone no matter your situation you're going to pay the taxes we're already paying them anyway so just up it two percent makes sense to me y'all i love you all in your comments below tell me what you think about all this garbage and say a prayer for our country say a prayer for our leaders say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through covid through financial problems health problems anything the whole world needs a healing only jesus christ can do that if we ask him to heal the world he will do it i love you all ciao